Uh, hi, I'm CC, and welcome back to a episode of our Minecraft 1.20 SMP. And I am here in Calyx as per usual, and I've done a little bit of work around here. Got a new nice stone floor over here. We got a uh, end of list. But today I want to get into doing something fun, and that is going to be uh, this way. Let's go. Oh. Uh, Let's go! So, as I was saying, over here is a big rectangle, and this rectangle re rectangle is going to be a sniffer farm. So, I think let's just get working on it. I've already designed, like, about 60% in a creative world, so I want to get just down the, the basic stuff, and we'll see what I need still. So the moss box is made, issue is I made it too small, I made it to the size of the building and not of the platform which I want to put the building on top of, so I need to make this a little bit longer, or deeper I guess. Hi guy, so I just need to make it a bit, a bit deeper. Okay, the moss box is done now, so the next step is going to be putting in the floor plan of the... Not sure if I mentioned it yet, but I'm making a botanical garden for the sniffers. So let's go. So I need roughly this shape here. I'm just sort of eyeballing it off the picture, but the general shape is going to be a big sort of oval with a dome on top. And I don't have nearly enough glass for this. Let's see how much I can build with the materials I have on hand, and we'll go from there. <laughs> yeah, I've now put in the I guess rib cage of the building. This looks a bit odd right now, but it will make a bit more sense in a second. The next step is going to be just seeing if I can actually fill this up with glass. I don't actually know if I have enough or not, but I'm going to do a sort of gradient from pink to white. Like this. And then have it go up to there and just have that around the whole building. And I don't think I've got nearly enough glass. So let's just see how much I can do, and then I have to go to the desert. It is now the next day, and surprisingly enough, I did actually have enough glass to finish this. Though I did run out of pink stained glass. So I ended up using white stained glass for the rest of it. And I'm going to add in a bit more pink stained glass to kind of fine tune the gradient. But before I can do that, I need to actually finish the building. And there's only going to be one more addition to the exterior. And what I want is to have some stairs. So stairs like this to make a arch. And then, oops, oops. And then around the entire outside of the building, I want to have a sort of ring of quartz like this. To add a bit of that. And there we go, making a much more ornate uh, aesthetic for the outside. So before I get into the interior, I want to work on the garden that's going to be on the outside, and I have some pretty interesting ideas for it. But before I can do it, I need to actually clear out the top layer of moss. So luckily I was actually smart and designed this with two layers of moss because I want to put in a full bit of water down at the bottom here. Then we're going to cover it up with mossy cobblestone slabs. And then the final step is going to be putting in some rows of coral fans to make a sort of much thicker flower beds than you could with normal flowers. 
and I absolutely love how this looks. So this is a technique I have stolen from uh, Good Times with Scar. It's so pretty, and it makes it it looks a lot better from a distance where you can't really see the colour of like regular flowers properly from a distance. Well, look how bright. Oh, that's that's so pretty. I love that a lot. Yep, I. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so the next step is going to be adding in some trees, and for that I need some stuff I don't have. One second. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of this pole fan here, then add in some spruce fences going up like this, and I want to make in some tiny little, uh, like, pruned trees. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. So then if I just do couple of those along the front just to make it feel a bit more botanical. That's super pretty. So step numero next is going to be doing the redstone on the inside because this is going to be an allay powered... That's not my redstone box. So this is going to be an allay powered uh, farm. So I need to have a note block somewhere that's going to be like collecting all the items and I think the perfect place for that is going to be right in the center inside of like a tree that I build in here. I'm thinking I'm just going to do a cherry tree since that is kind of the vibe of the whole area but I'll need to make a little clock and I had a design and I've completely forgotten it so let's see if I can remember how to build it off the top of my noggin. So this design is a little bit on the funky side but I think it's quite funny so the way it works is it uses a pulse extender, which I've really been getting into since the real video. And essentially what it does is if I just quickly unflick this, the pulse will eventually time out like so, in which this observer will uh, detect the comparator turning off, which will then power this repeater here, which reactivates the pulse extender. And then at the same time, Whenever this times out, the piston gets pulled back down, and once it reactivates, it gets pushed back up, activating the little thingy here. So now I can bring some allays in here, and they will start throwing items on, but now I need somewhere for the items to actually go, so let's quickly grab some hoppers. So now, theoretically, whenever a mob, or whenever an allay throws an item on top of here, it should get picked up. Yep. And... Not work how I thought it did. This one, push. And now, if I was to throw an item onto there, it gets picked up and it goes into hopper. Fantastic. And then I can just put a barrel or something there. So, as I said before, I want to make a custom cherry tree, which I have never actually done before. So, let's try and figure this one out together. So, the bits I can't cover are going to be. This, so it has to look like this at the end. That's not terrible. Okay, I can figure something out here. Okay, I don't think it's terrible for my first attempt at a custom cherry tree. I'll sort of pick away at it over time. Yeah, I think for now I'm gonna leave it like this, but what I might actually do is lower the floor around it, just so it is a bit less intrusive on the player and especially the sniffers. I've now lowered the floor and added in this nice quartz trim around the bottom and I think it's a massive improvement. It also makes the tree feel a lot grander being slightly raised. It's weird how a single block of elevation can completely change the vibe of a room. But I've also added in a small little path here. Uh, I don't think it'll stay stone and just kind of put that in as a placeholder because I want to now put in the sniffer eggs because I don't want to start detailing until I know how much space the sniffers are going to take up in this room because these are some big boys when they're fully grown and I don't think I can have many in here if I detail this place too much. But it's going to take a while for them to hatch. So before that happens, I want to go and grab some allays and put them in here too. I have all these ones over here. 
I'll grab the ones that are holding seeds right now. Oh, you're not holding anything. Okay, perfect. And I can just pull these two away. Yep, yeah, perfect. Set my balloons for a walk. Hard to control this when I'm facing the wrong way. I just don't want to lose them. Ah! Okay, this is going to be the interesting bit, is trying to get these guys inside. Will they fit through the door fine? That's not... that's not... Uh, that's a problem. Come on, in you come. Nope. Actually, should I give these guys some items? Let's take that off you and give you some moss, and give you some moss. If I go inside and just chuck some moss down. One. Why are you not wanting any? Come on, in you come. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So that should... Oh wow, these guys are already uh, cracking the shell. That is faster than I thought it'd be. So I want to give these two guys some uh, of the seed pods things. So give you the pitcher pod. And where'd your friend go? There it is. Give you a torch flower seed. So now whenever these sniffers sniff up a seed, they should be picked up by this guy and then thrown into here once I actually turn it on. Oop, there we go. So now I just need to wait for these guys to actually hatch. And then I think they need torch flowers to breed. I can't remember if it's torch flower seeds or torch flowers. This thing is going off way too often, so I want to go down below and see if I can figure out a better way. Ooh, ooh, I think I just heard them catch. Uh... Yeah, look! Oh. oh, I forgot how cute they are, look at that! Look how cute they are, little grandpas. Oh, I love them so much. Hello. <laughs> it shouldn't work. It's... <laughs> I know it didn't work. Okay, fine. I've been defeated and I've had to use an Evo Hopper clock. Uh, I've put in three stacks of moss into this, so that should be around 150 seconds between each note block. Which should be fine. An Alay will you normally leave... Uh, so an Alay will lose connection to a note block after 30 seconds of no sound. <clears throat> an Alay will lose... Con so an Alay will lose... <clears throat> so an Alay will lose connection to a note block 30 seconds after the last noise it played. But that should be fine in here since they can't go anywhere. I realised I probably should have done this uh, after I had finished texturing the walls. Oh, there, go, there it goes. So now I have to be careful about texturing or adding the gradient in when I've got these guys following me around. That should be fine, don't worry. I'm also a bit worried about the LAs getting out whenever I go through the door. So I think I might actually set this up as a little airlock of sorts. Okay, this gives me a little bit more peace of mind having just like a little room here. This way the LAs can't get out super easily. It would be annoying to get them back in if I if they did escape. Ah. Hey, he's finally gone. At least one of them has. Look how big this guy is. It's awesome. I love him. Oh, I love sippers. They're so cool. Oh, there goes the other one. Okay, perfect. I've been doing some texturing over here, trying to figure out how I want this area to look. <clears throat> this is what I've got so far. I think I might be overdoing it a bit. I might just need to tone it back a smidge and just give kind of an open area for them in the center. I just don't like how flat this is looking right now, so I might add in some more of these azalea bushes in the floor. Just to add some texture variations around. Oh, I guess since it's a botanical garden, it should be a bit more organized. But also since it's a sniffer area, 
it feels like it should be somewhat chaotic. So I'm I'm kind of in the middle of two thought processes right now. But looking at the size of this guy, I think I can probably get in about eight before it starts being a bit uh a bit cramped for them. You gonna come sniff me? Hello, bud. Um Oh, he's doing some sniffing. Hey, torch plant seed, perfect. So this lets me read these guys, right? And do they I can't remember if they like plant an egg or if they just kind of like make Okay, they drop an egg. Okay, it is now the next day, and I've got a little bit to show for it. As in lots of little guys, or I guess big guys. Oh, he's sniffing. What are you gonna gulp? Torch flower seed, perfect. So there's currently twelve sniffers in here, and it's not nearly as cramped as I expected. I think my primarily because they're all just kind of chilling out on the sides for some reason. So I could probably up this to be 16. I think that's a good number. It's hard to see where they are. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Four eggs. Let's put two over here and two over here. Uh, I've also done some work on the redstone here to collect the items. So the way it was before is that the note block was embedded into the minecart hopper or vice versa whichever way it would be around but that was causing an issue where it was there was items being thrown over like here which weren't getting picked up so what i've done now is underneath these three blocks here if i go into cheaty cam mode you see there's a hopper minecart that's just going back and forth back and forth back and forth which should collect any items that land up here and then that goes into a uh, hopper down here, into a dropper, which then has like this bit of redstone here, which will then fire the dropper, which then puts the item, if I just go like that, it'll put the item up into the barrel. So that's how the items in the middle get collected, but then that was still causing a problem where if items were like here, they wouldn't get picked up. So I've just placed down some hoppers with uh, carpets on top to mask it and that seems to have solved the issue i'm not losing any the only time i can lose one is like if it lands here even then it still gets picked up so yeah and if they do miss they can always just give it another go and then throw it on and it's all working perfectly fine now so the next step i'm not sure because i think six oh, yep, there we go i think 16 sniffers is probably enough for this place so I think I want to get on to actually integrating it into the rest of the area. Because right now it is just sort of off to the side quite a bit. And I think the best way of doing that is going to be just to add in an actual path. And I know I have this one here, but something a bit nicer would work. And I also think I want to have some flowers out front as well. Possibly either more coral, like this, or maybe just some tall flowers. I want this to be a bit more formal, I guess, than my other areas. A bit more properly built up. So I want to have more straight lines, I guess, than I normally do. Oh, I've also done a bit of detailing on the outside here. I've added in some cherry leaves down the sides that kind of follow the glass uh, like gradient a bit, which I think looks quite nice. And then I've also got in like a little pink trim around the bottom, which I think makes it stand out a lot better than it did before. So my go-to is usually peonies for uh, tall flowers. They're my favourites just because of how like solid they are compared to say lilacs which are a bit more like that. Okay I kind of like that. It might be a bit much. So what if I poke out the first row? Not convinced. Let's leave it like this on this side and then switch over onto this side and try something else so I can directly compare them. That might be a bit better. There's a lot of people on the server right now and they're being weird. I might try just doing no tall flowers at all. Or at least like just one layer of them. I think I'm going to go with this for now. 
and if I hate it later on, I can always change it. it. Is getting along. It looks really nice, and I'm just now trying to figure out the road. So I'm not sure if I want it to be straight like this, or if I want to make it sort of more wobbly. I I really can't decide because it's a bit weird to just have this one random straight street. Like over here and everywhere else is more organic. So I I think I'm leaning away from this. And I think one way I could possibly manage it is if I instead if I brought oh god. If I brought it out like this, give it a slight like curve, and then make a central circle here. Then it can go from having like a bit of a wobbly road that goes over to that area. Like the orchard area, and then maybe have it more uniform over this direction. That way, there's like a natural sort of split. I think that might be better. At least I'll have it straight up until here. So I need to figure out how thick I want it. I think honestly, this might be enough. And that way, it is a three by three circle. Or maybe I could have it so this side over here is a bit more. I, instead of having the road directly here, I can make this little bit here come out, make a bigger garden, and then have the actual exit be over this way, and then this will take you over to the orchard. That might be a bit more visually interesting. I think I was going to have to. Take a step back, do some experimenting, and I will get back to you, because I'm not fully sure on my direction with this. Now this is starting to get somewhere. I'm really liking this area. Ah, shocker boxes. It's just... Oh, I love it. So over here, I have added in this little walk around area with a gazebo. There. I have like a coffee or something there. And then over here, it's got a little like flower viewing path. And it added like a bit of like a swirly uh, shape to it just so I could get a bit more space for the flowers. And it just makes it feel less uh, uniform, I guess. Then over here, I've not done anything just yet because I'm, I'm, ex I'm thinking about some ideas for back there, and I don't want to commit to anything just yet. Let's go see how much uh, seeds I've gotten from working around here. Ooh. Now that is impressive that the torch flower seeds have somehow overtaken the pitcher pods. Uh, yeah, so there's one final thing I want to do before we get... Oh my god, ah! <laughs> before we get into the ending. And that is, I want somewhere to actually grow the seeds. Now, it doesn't need to be that big. It just literally just needs to be like a little pod. So I'm thinking maybe either over here or maybe over to the side here. I've had a brainwave. Allow me to elaborate. What if I did something like this with a little jut out on the end and then add in a little corridor here which goes into a little growing area for the plants. I think that's my best bet so let's do some of that I guess. Okay I think Rather than having like a little building out here, just having two little like farming plots and then just having like a little exit here is probably going to be the best way of doing this. Then if I just put a barrel at the end here, then that barrel there can just be where I put all the bow meal and then maybe just scatter some flowers around the side. Hey, I think that's actually just enough, really. So now it's going to grab some seeds and then just uh, put flowers over here. And then I can either just manually bone mill these or just leave them to grow naturally over time. And now the final thing I want to go. Uh, go. <laughs> now the final thing that 
And now the final thing that I want to do is maybe just go around and plant some cherry trees. I just want to kind of bring a bit more cherryness to the area since I think there's not actually enough like cherry trees around. Obviously there's all those ones, but that's that's just where I collect wood. For now, I think I'm happy with where it is, and I think I'll do a stream where I just go around and potter, do some work on the roads and the interior and all that, but I am very oop, I am very happy with how this building has come out. And my sniffy boys finally have a home. Oh, I, I love them so much. And well, it isn't the most efficient super farm in the world, I'd imagine, but it I, I don't think I'll be using that many uh, torch flowers and pitcher pods. So I'm perfectly satisfied with the... <laughs> These guys are so big and unruly. I love them. Yeah, so... Oh, uh, hey. Ooh, hello. Uh, don't really want any of that. You can just chill around here. So, I hope you all enjoyed. That is where I am going to leave it today. Had a lot of fun just kind of working on a more aesthetic build. And of course it's raining right now. It always is. But, uh, yeah, make sure you look out for any time I stream. Because I'll probably be working on this area. And I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.